Hello friends and residency candidates, and welcome to today's success story interview where I have the pleasure of speaking with Mar Ambassador and now matched applicant Apurva. So hello and welcome. Thank you so much, Zeb. This is an absolute pleasure to be here. I remember just a few months ago, it seems like we were talking about strategies for applying to the 2022 match. And now here we are, you're matched and how does it feel? This is an incredible feeling. I, I, this, this resonates with me. We were just discussing about IMG strategies and new things coming up in match 2022. And right now we are just post match 2022. This is an incredible feeling. I love to hear that. Can you tell us a little bit about your match, where you ended up? So I got matched in internal medicine at Marshfield Clinic, in Wisconsin. Wonderful. And when you were applying, I remember we discussed the supplemental heiress application pretty in depth um, during our discussion. And was that something that ended up coming into play for you? How did that work out into your season? You know, I'm very curious as to how everything played together. So um, supplemental application, uh, the program where I matched was not mentioned in supplemental application, but uh, it pretty much worked out well as because uh, program where I put the supplemental uh, application were reach programs. So I did get interviews from those programs. So I think that's a game changer, definitely. Wow. Yeah. So it's, you were able to signal those kind of higher level programs and you know, get those interviews because they, you know, you saw, they saw that you had excellent credentials and then that you, you signaled them. So they were also, you know, interested in hearing from you. Definitely. So can you tell us a little bit more about your application in general? What were you focusing on when you were getting things prepared? So my, most of the, most of the time I would just spend about making my application unique as because uh, most of the most of the students and candidates would have high quality research like indexed in PubMed journals and everything like have, might have a good uh, background uh, might have good scores so these are the things which were pretty much common for ep every application so I always wanted to bring some unique points um, in my application so that like even like for example this microphone as soon as I like you know switched on the interviews everybody would ask like oh I see a microphone so um, it's that that definitely gives us a talking point let's say we would talk about YouTube podcast so I think the unique yeah. thing um, was the, the thing which I always focused on so in your case that was you know the podcasting the YouTube channel or what was that for you so most of the times uh, my application would say about YouTube, uh, it would be saying about podcasts, it would be saying about the music albums which I recorded. So and I was also working on an artificial intelligence project. So programs were pretty much inter like interested about like, you, can you just tell us more about the artificial intelligence project or some of the very good volunteer things which I did. So that pretty much worked out very well during all the interview seasons. And so how much of that, you know, of those X factors do you think are relevant, not just relevant, but something you're going to be able to apply to your internal medicine residency itself? Like, will you be able to pursue AI research within internal medicine or is your YouTube channel going to you know, be affected by your residency? Can you tell us a little bit more about that integration of those activities? Sure, and this was actually uh, almost every time I would get asked by like in interviews that how would you just correlate uh, maybe YouTube and maybe just uh, artificial intelligence to the medicine. I was um, always fascinated by data and my personal statement started with this line, Alexa, can you just uh, tell more about hypokalemia? So I was always fascinated by how data is driving technology and that is driving medicine. and. Uh, it's it's so unique to see that we already have so much of data already and it's about how we utilize those datas uh, what makes a uh, crucial and like make something which is game changer and like for example youtube youtube is a free platform for for everyone and it's it's a free platform to engage inspire and connect with all the medical students across the globe so yes. 
even if you just um, make some videos about topic which nobody understands it's just one video which it took to transform that concept and everybody could understand so that's how like maybe the healthcare system in united states probably there is some um, big room of improvement in healthcare system in some other countries so they would just learn from okay they are following this and you make a video of it and they could implement the healthcare system in other country so it's an amazing way uh, by which one can transform medicine across the globe yeah absolutely and when you applied you had very strong usmle scores did you also have us clinical experience yes so i did had did have 6 months of us clinical experience uh, so out of that one was inpatient and rest of them were outpatient rotations and can you tell us a little bit more about the experiences and were you able to get strong letters of recommendation from them sure um i did um so actually those letters were actually waived so what i um, got from what i got feedbacks from the inter the interviewers they told that you have got very strong letters of recommendations and that's how actually i came to know about that okay like uh, my mentors have written like a pretty nice letter of recommendation and my first place of rotation was in cleveland clinic lutheran so there i did my outpatient rotation then i did my inpatient sub internship at uh, larkin um, sub internship program in florida and then for the four months i was in chicago so that was again outpatient experience but this was completely new for me because that was the first time i was coming to united states so it definitely gave an edge and what motivated you to pursue residency in the United States to begin with To be very honest um I was always fascinated by United States healthcare system I have been following healthcare system of United States since I began my medical school and this one little line that United States doctors write Harrison that's the gold standard of medicine medicine and rest of other countries read Harrison and follow So they are the one who makes the protocol everybody else follows that protocol. So I was always fascinated by the fact that I wanted to learn medicine from the place where the protocols are formed. Right. So that was the biggest driving point uh, for United States for me. Was there anything in your application season that took you off guard or that you weren't expecting? I <laughs> most of the times um the interviewers would say uh like you have got very high scores uh you have got strong profile uh, why do you want to match here and i was like <laughs> <laughs> so there was something where i like i was not prepared and uh, but most of the times it's like for one limitation which i found for all the imgs is visa requiring thing because um if you compare one with similar profile who has green card um would definitely you know can go anywhere they want but if you have if you are a visa requiring candidate have similar credentials it definitely puts you somewhere in restriction because some program might not even sponsor visas or maybe some program might not sponsor visa which you want so this was something which i like you know felt and were you able to practice that question you know why why our program basically was that something you learned like okay i need to prepare a response for this you know after a couple of interviewers asked you that definitely um and i thank match resident for that and um, i used match resident services for like identifying like finding a list of programs preparing for interviews personal statement cv and i cannot imagine what would i have done like without the professional editing from match residents so i really thank that and <clears throat> i did see a lot of difference how i wrote the personal statement and how it came out after match resident like edited it that was really professional and uh, so i i really thank that experience i just forgot what did you ask so basically were you well first off i mean, we want to say we are very grateful to be able to help and assist and it's always so rewarding to hear that you know our efforts are able to help make dreams come true like yours and you know what you are able to do during residency and beyond is just going to be amazing so just want to put that out there but also you know, 
when you got through a, your first few interviews, did you then start to practice based on the questions that you were being confronted with? Right. So yeah, the interview preparation, I, so I, I definitely would recommend to practice, practice, practice interviews because there will be definitely some questions which you might just not expect and would just come up. So I, I did came across certain questions uh, during first two interviews, which I never thought. And I, I still think retrospectively, like despite of preparing everything from interview, like everything, still you might face some questions which you might never expect. So that was a learning point and i still think retrospectively that i might have not answered something which uh, would have been more polished but that only comes after giving more and more interviews so one advice i would suggest like is you like rather than experimenting directly in interviews experiment with your friends like interview with your 10 friends because you might always come up with new questions um, which you might never expect yeah exactly and when you actually got to ranking programs, what were the factors that were going through your mind when you were deciding where to put each program on your list? To be very, very honest, the only thing, the only factor in my, my mind as an IMG was visa, visa, visa. So, um, so that was my first priority. Um, so visa was my first priority. And after that, um, I looked at uh, what was strong about that program for example the program where i matched has a very very strong research thing so the visa thing got satisfied there and if you have a strong research and you also get h1 visa so that down the line has you know good future like maybe you can just you know convert that h1 visa into another category so that was the thing which which was really important for me and the most important uh sorry to interrupt but the most important thing was welcoming nature of the program you know almost everywhere where i interviewed and especially the program where i matched were telling like you know what Apurva, if you match here it would be our pleasure to serve you like for three years of residency and who wouldn't love to go to that program who wants you back so that was the one which i said okay i'm just you know going there yeah, it's so important to be able to be in a uh, environment that facilitates camaraderie and friendship and support and really strives to create those familial bonds, even just among colleagues and friends um, to really support you throughout that journey. And what are you hoping to be you know, dedicating your time to during your residency or focusing on throughout the next few years? my my main focus would be to be somewhere in academics because i like teaching so i would definitely want to improve my more teaching skills uh, during my residency i also want to like uh, look further and dive more into researches and so yeah that's basically where i want to be in kind of academic settings where i be in touch with residents and medical students perfect what impact are you hoping to have on the field of medicine throughout your career? What impact um, will I be able to make or will the medicine really will yeah, have What impact do you want to have on medicine? You know, what change are you hoping to help create? Right. Um, so actually, that's what my entire vision is, actually. So I, as I always uh, end up into technology, so, and I was, I'm always fascinated by technology, and right now, if I see the new things coming up, be it virtual reality, maybe some metaverse or like things are like AR augmented reality. I'm always fascinated about how we can, you know, let's say maybe make a 3D model of maybe heart or just integrate teaching into 3D space and virtual reality. So that's my like entire vision of serving the medicine uh, to Wonderful. transform like teaching. Yeah. So what is your final pieces of advice for upcoming applicants in order for them to get through this next cycle and to ultimately hopefully succeed in the match? The final piece of advice uh, I would say is that this is a very, very long journey. The very important thing is to be just stay, um, you know, patient and uh, to use the professional services where needed because we might think that okay i will do this or i will write this and it's very important to ask for help uh, wherever needed 
uh, because we might think okay we would just do this but we might be falling somewhere short enough so one thing is like get prof professional help wherever needed and second thing is uh, be prepared but not let the interviewer know that you are prepared with all the answers so that's one thing which i felt okay be genuine uh, be very very honest uh, with the answers but you have to put those answers back back into your mind i think that's all wonderful well thank you so much for sharing your experiences and your input and we look forward to connecting more as an ambassador with matcha residents and having some more discussions about all the changes that might be coming up for the current and future seasons um, so it's been a pleasure to speak with you and we wish you all the best in your journey. Thank you so much, Azef. And Match Resident has definitely impacted a lot of applicants because the kind of service it provides is unmatchable. So thank you so much.